ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन द सेकंड वीडियो इन फर्स्ट वीडियो वी मिस दैट क्लास लेस इंटर आईपी डोमेन आईपी एड्रेसिंग दैट इज क्लास लेस इंटर डोमेन रूटिंग वी विल कंटिन्यू विद दिस टॉपिक इन दिस वीडियो एज आई हैड डिस्कस्ड विद यू दैट क्लास सी दिस इज बेसिकली क्लास सी क्लास सी सपोर्ट्स ओनली 254 आईपीस एंड क्लास बी सपोर्ट्स 254 इनटू 254 आईपीस and we have discussed an issue that suppose if i need 300 ip so class c is only supporting 256 basically uh, that is we use only 254 but it exactly is, it is 256 class c supports 256 ip but i need 300 so of course I, we will go with class b because it supports 256 into 256 but if you multiply this value it is much bigger than the uh, ip address we need 300 ip address we need so in this case neither class c or nor class b will be able to satisfy my requirement so hence we have a new concept for it uh, that is called classless ip addressing in which we will we'll not use use any class and that is why we call it classless ip addressing and we also call it classless inter domain routing uh, as i i have discussed this uh, same thing uh, in the first paragraph class c supports only 254 ip addresses by default and class b supports 254 254 host host means computers If we need three hundred host, uh, neither B or neither class C will be supporting it, because uh, class C does not support the required number of IP addresses. And if you use class B, it will lead to great deal of IP addresses wastage. So uh, let us discuss a new concept uh, where we will not use any class, and uh, still we will have the IP addressing mechanism. So see, uh, if we see uh, in classless IP addressing, how we come to know seeing an IP address. I will come to on that IP address is a, a classless IP address. So you will have a slash over there as one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one slash twenty eight. The slash this signifies that uh, this is a classless type of IP address. And if you see one example, we have an example for it. You can get a numerical for it uh, for the same topic. We have an IP address one six seventy two dot sixteen dot zero dot zero slash twenty five. And he's saying find the number of subnetworks and the number of computers per subnet we can have. <coughs> As you can see, uh, its first value is one seventy two, and uh, if you see the TPT one seventy two, so one seventy two means it is a class B IP address. So sixteen bits will be for net ID, sixteen bits for host ID. Now continue, continuing to our same thing. Uh, this is a class B IP address. So number of subnets will be two raised to power. This value after the slash minus sixteen, sixteen is equal to a number of uh, two bytes for net ID. So twenty-five minus sixteen nine two raised to the power nine is five one two. Five one two number of subnets we we can form out of this IP address. And now we have to identify how many computers we can have in a particular subnetwork. So again two raised to the power thirty-two because thirty-two it is IPv four. V four means four bytes that is thirty-two bits minus this slash value. And minus two, because two IP address first IP address and last IP address we don't use. Two ratio of seven minus two, it comes out to be one twenty six. So five one two subnetworks we can have, and in single subnetwork we can have this much number of computers. So total number of computers can we can get by multiplying these two values. And again uh, for for defining this classless IP addresses we have some rules also. First IP uh, first rule is all the IP addresses in CIDR block must must be contiguous. Suppose you define a block of IP addresses, so those addresses have to be continuous, like they cannot be random IP addresses. Second rule is uh, uh, the size of block that you define for IP addresses in classless IP addressing must be a power of two. It it can be two raised to the power one, two raised to the power two, two raised to the power three, like like this. This is this is the size you can have. And the size of the block is basically the total number of IP addresses contained in the block. So this is the CIDR classless interdomain interdomain routing notation. We can have IP address of this type: first byte, dot second byte, dot third byte, dot fourth byte slash n. Okay. And if we see one example for it, so this is the example for it: one eighty two dot zero dot one dot two slash twenty eight. This slash twenty eight slash is basically telling you that it is a classless IP address. I, I, and what is the value? Of, what is the significance of this twenty-eight? If you see, this twenty-eight is basically uh, these twenty-eight uh, is the number of bits we are used for using for identification of the network. And the uh, of course we are talking about IP before, so we have thirty-two bit IP address. So twenty-two minus twenty-eight is four. 
the four bits are used for identification of who's in the network. So that means out of total 32 bits in IPv4 IP addressing, we have 28 bits for identification of networks and rest four bits are used for identification of computers in the network. So this is the concept of uh, classless IP addressing. Now we will see the concept of IPv6 because we have talked uh, like uh, in much about uh, IPv4 IPv4 means 4 byte IP address and IPv6 basically is having 16 uh, byte IP address. See uh, why we need IPv6 basically we are already having IPv4 and IPv4 before IP addressing was successfully running on internet. So uh, main things was like uh, as the number of computers number of hosts are increasing on the internet. So we are falling short of IP addresses in IPv4. And you can see uh, in the first line, as the internet has been growing extremely fast, the IP addresses are quickly depleting in IPv4. So that means we need an, a new addressing mechanism, which supports more number of IP addresses. So you can see IPv4 we were having uh, is v4 means 4 by 32 bits. So we can have two raised to power 32 IP addresses or computers we can support in this. That means approximately this value. But uh, in IPv6. 6 6 means 16 IPv6 basically 16 bytes that is 128 bits that means 2 raised to the power 128 computers see the huge difference and IPv4 we can only support 2 raised to the power 32 IP addresses but IPv6 we can support 2 raised to the power 128 IP addresses that means 3.4 uh, into 10 raised to the power 38 IP addresses we can have extremely extremely huge range of IP addresses now if you see the IP, IPv4 addresses you have already seen that like a 1672.16.0.1 4 bytes but IPv6 IP address looks like this. So 16 bytes we have because uh, if you check this it is of 16 bytes and uh, the difference between uh, IPv4 and IPv6 is IPv4 addresses were in decimal form IPv6 are in hexadecimal form you can check these uh, alphabets also. So this this is in hexadecimal form, and there we had a separator of dot one seventy two dot sixteen. Here we have colon. This is the uh, IPv six. If we see the differences between IPv four and IPv six, like uh, first we have the year in which they were released. Then IPv four support thirty two bit IP addresses, one twenty eight IP addresses, two raised to power thirty two computers, two raised to power one twenty eight computers. In decimal form we have IPv four. Hexadecimal we have in I, uh, hexadecimal form. This is the loopback address. Loopback address we use for uh, basically uh, uh, defining a uh, address uh, where we can root our server basically. So colon one. IP security. I told you this in class. Uh, IP security is optional in IPv4, but it is always available in IPv6. IP sec is IP security basically. Uh, fragmentation is done by host and router. Only the combination communication endpoint we do in this case. Check some yes. Check some no. Uh, option in the uh, field uh, header field we don't ha we have in this case but we don't have an IPv6 then we have the protocols which are working uh, that router discovery router discovery basically in which we can find find the path to the root this is optional in IPv4 it is mandatory in IPv6 IP configuration is manual at DCP DHCP so we have all uh, we have three different methods in IPv6 like we can have manual IP address also we can automatic also and we have DACP that is high, dynamic host configuration protocol version 6. So uh, basic difference we come to know about in this is uh, like IPv6 is the future. Uh, all the windows supporting uh, windows 7 and onwards support both IPv4 and IPv6 but the uh, the windows which were used getting used in history uh, windows 98 and uh, all those windows windows, windows vista and uh, they were supporting only IPv4, but we need IPv6 because uh, IPv6 is the future. Uh, in future, we will have again huge number of IP addresses and IPv4 will not be able to satisfy my requirement for IP addresses. Hence, we will go with IPv6.